So the last step is now pretty simple. So C is coding. So now we've got our our variable xq of n. So this means so we've got samples and and that's quantified. And this we just turn into a binary sequence now. Or more specifically into into a data type. Classical data types are, for example, um, integer. And they are integer with 8-bit, um, 16-bit, 16 bits, or 32 bits are quite popular for audio. Mm. And so with these integers, sometimes also floating point is is used, but very often it is usually integer. So let's have a have a look at um, at an example file. So let's bring back MATLAB here on the screen. And um, there's somewhere, yeah. So here, here I've already prepared the the audio read command. So again, we are loading the I am so happy dot wave in it, and we know how it sounds. So now the now the interesting or the addition here to this command is this argument called native. So this argument native here loads loads the data in a in the in the native form how it's how it has been stored in the WAV file in it. So if I if I type in Y now, we see the numbers coming up. Yeah, so that once again. And um, so this looks suspicious like unsigned integer, so an, actually an unsigned 8-bit integer. So we can find this out with the class command. So if I type in class of y, it tells me what y is for a type. And we see here that the answer the answer is um, unsigned 8-bit in this case. So we had three steps. The first one is sampling, the second one is quantization, and the third one is coding.